Ever sit down to code, but your brain instantly goes, nope, let's scroll Instagram reels? Well, everyone has been there. But what if I told you I can trick that beautiful brain of yours into craving code? Yeah, I can make that happen. But before that, you have to promise me one thing, that you are not going to procrastinate over this video no matter what. Now, grab your pen and paper and start writing down each step I am going to mention. First, you have to reframe the struggle. Instead of, uh, I have to learn Python, you just have to say to yourself, heck yeah, I get to build a bot that can react on that one friend's reels. And suddenly, coding's a superpower. Kind of like renaming broccoli as tiny trees, so kids eat it. Except you're the kid in this scenario, and the broccoli pays six figures. Next, start stupidly small. Believe me, don't try to build Facebook on day one. Your brain needs wins. No matter if it's a small win, code one line that prints a sassy, hello world, or just try to build a small portion of a bigger project. Like you can simply build some buttons or layout or something like billing section of a website. And after you achieve any of it, your brain will have dopamine hit and this will make you achieve more of these tasks. But as a developer myself, I can tell you one thing. You will fall into bugs, unexpected errors, crashes, and sometime even your IDE will start roasting you. But you have to turn these bugs into treasure hunts because errors aren't failures, they're Easter eggs. Tell your brain, we're Sherlock Holmes hunting clues, or maybe anything that won't let you quit over these crashes. Now, here's another thing that'll matter, your coding environment. You have to make sure that you code in a sunny cafe, under fairy lights, or heck, a blanket fort maybe. Bribe your senses with hype playlists or snacks. Gamify coding like your brain's a gamer kid. Use apps like Habitica or DIY Quests. And finally, never ever code alone. Grab a buddy or a rubber duck, because explaining code out loud triggers teacher mode. And yes, rubber ducks don't judge. And your brain's not lazy, it just needed you to speak its language.